A man arrested on suspicion of murdering 13-year-old Lucy McHugh has been charged with failing to assist police in revealing his Facebook password. Stephen Allen Paul Nicholson, 24, was arrested shortly after the body of the schoolgirl was found in Woods near Southampton Sports Centre last Thursday morning. She had been reported missing the day before. He has been bailed in relation to the murderer arrest but Hampshire police have said he has been charged under the Regulation of Investigatory Powers Act REPA. The charge relates to the failure to disclose access codes to an electronic device as requested by police under REPA, namely, a Facebook password. A police officer at the scene near Southampton Sports Centre, where 13-year-old Lucy McHugh was found stabbed to death, Image PA, Mr. Nicholson, 24, remains in police custody, Image PA, floral tributes at the scene near Southampton Sports Centre, Image PA, he has been remanded in custody at Southampton Magistrates Court. Lucy is believed to have been stabbed with a sharp object, although police cannot say if it was a knife or scissors at this early stage. said this morning they have not made any other arrests in connection with her death. Detective Superintendent Paul Barton said, This investigation very much continues and we really need the help of the community to understand Lucy's activity in the 24 hours before her body was found. We know that this is causing a great deal of concern locally, please be assured we are doing all we possibly can to bring whoever is responsible for Lucy's death to justice. Children at the Southampton School where Lucy was a pupil are being offered support. A fundraising page has been set up to help pay for Lucy's funeral image GoFundMe the outfit Lucy was wearing when she disappeared pupils and teachers at Redbridge Community School where Lucy went to devastated. Her teacher Jason Ashley said, As a school community we are absolutely devastated and we have have shed many tears over the last couple of days. We are in shock and cannot believe that this has happened to one of our own. We will do everything we can to support the police in their investigation and we extend our heartfelt and deeper sympathies to family and friends. We will look to offer our support to them also, a GoFundMe page set up to raise £5,000 towards costs for Lucy's funeral has so far received more than £6,000.